G'day guys, if you've got an iPhone 7 or 8, or potentially other models of, iPhone, of, of an iPhone, and you're currently getting no audio during phone calls, then you may potentially either have a gunked up mesh at the top here, if you can't hear the people during the phone call. If you, if you, they can't hear you, you've probably got dirty mesh down the bottom here. So these particular holes need to be cleaned out, particularly on the left hand side. The right hand side is typically the loudspeaker on most iPhones. But if you're still having audio issues on during phone calls, so let's say your videos play fine, music plays fine, everything but phone calls. Right now I'm running an iPhone 7 with iOS 15.41. And let's say you're still getting the audio issue, you've checked out those things, they're all okay. What we wanna do then is go to transfer or reset in settings. So first we'll go to settings. Then we will go down to Go into general, scroll down to reset iPhone. We want to go reset. And under here, we want to go reset network settings. So typically that resets like your, essentially your APN settings to connect onto data, internet, Wi-Fi settings, stuff like that. So we want to go reset network settings. I'll ask, ask this to confirm. I'll go reset. And we see this screen here. If you have a passcode on your phone, you will have to enter that, and that should clear, restart, clear that in settings, and then try your phone calls from there. Hopefully from there you'll be able to phone call perfectly fine. If not, if you've got an iPhone 7 or 8, they are, especially the 7s, they are prone to what's called audio IC failure, which I've got that mentioned in another video. Typically the way that it's checked if you've got that is if you have the voice memo application on your phone and you go to it and you can't actually do any audio recording, the button is grayed out, or during a call you can't select loudspeaker, that's usually a sign of audio or IC failure. But hopefully for your particular model of phone, simply going into settings, general, reset, reset, reset network settings, hopefully that fixes your issue and I hope this helps. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.